Hello everyone, welcome back to Grim's Garage. Today on recent diecast pickups, unfortunately we only have one Hot Wheel and one Matchbox mainline, and the rest is all M2. A little bit different than usual for a recent diecast pickups. Hope that's okay with you guys. We're going to get right into this. And this is the new uh, spring series from Hot Wheels. Uh, the whole set was available to me, but I was only interested in the 69 Volkswagen square back here. Let me get this guy here. Right. So just calling it spring series instead of like an Easter series. They used to do Easter. Maybe this replaced it, I assume. Always lovely to put some more wagons in the collection. A semi wagon from Matchbox. Got the Austin Minivan 65. In the mini series, actually, if you want to take a look at that. This is the only one I was going to get out of this set. Not a Mini Cooper collector, just the minivan. Now this one does not want to come out. There we go. Motor spares. Guarantee all their products. Very small wording. Very nice. Now into the M2. We have a 56 Beetle Deluxe USA model. I think it's my second version of this. Nice blue color. We're just going to take a quick look at some of the packaging and then I'll pause and have everything out. M2 is quite a hassle to unbox. And you don't want to watch all that. 76 Ford Bronco with the Sprite theme. Very cool. We've got a kit. For a 73 Jimmy Sierra. I think it's my first Jimmy, but same as a Bronco. You know it's the same model. Very cool. Either way, Foose. Black and green always gets me. We have a large scale. 124, I believe. I'm probably wrong. But uh, this is my third version of this truck. They are such a delight to behold. Box collectors don't know what they're missing. 75 Chevy Silverado. We're going to take a look at that guy. Nice gray and black holly theme. And before I get to those being opened, please like and subscribe. You have no idea how much that helps. Only 4% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Please just hit a button or two. Help me out tremendously. Now we'll be right back. Sorry, just a moment. I forgot to take a second to look at our options here. And I believe... Hmm. They're both five-spoke wheels, but these are kind of fancier. I think I'm going to go with the left side. And I believe the tires are exactly the same. Maybe the tread's different, but they look the same to me. I never understood why they always put the engine separate if there's no options. Sometimes there's two, but if there's one, why isn't it just already in there? But anyway, back to the unboxing. Alright, and here we are all unpackaged. We're going to start off with the Volkswagen Beetle. Beautiful blue color. Very vibrant. Goes very well with the white. I don't know if it's a design goof or a placement goof. But where this bumper is, 
you cannot open the trunk which is or not trunk it's actually where the engine is but anyway boot it bumper bumpers in the way so oh well on that but beautiful model otherwise very gorgeous next up we have the sprite ford bronco big beautiful blue ford engine big old chunky tires this one surprisingly top does not come off some of them do always love how they use the uh, model date on the license plates that's pretty nice next up we've got our m2 kit matching stand and uh this is a lot prettier than i thought it was on first glance that uh green i don't know if it's coming up on camera that's a sparkly glittery green very very pretty this one the top does come off this is Jimmy and at first I was like oh I don't know how I feel about the orange interior but you know what I think it really works I really think it does I think this is gorgeous very beautiful and last but not least for today we've got this big old beautiful 75 yeah 75 silverado this is my third m2 silverado this size they are hefty they are quite nice to hold working tie cast rear latching gate all the beautiful bottom detail it weighs like five pounds it's quite a bit the black and gray on this holly model it's quite pretty get this head open there we go nice chevy engine very gorgeous I guess the gold rims or brass rims work on this. I would have went with like maybe a frosted chrome or black. Although black I usually think looks horrible here. I think it'd be suitable. But anyways, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you all for joining me today. Hope you join me again soon. And I hope you all have a very good night.